All right, <clears throat> welcome to Tribulation 515, 2011. Today is October 19th. It is a, a Friday out here in San Jose, California. And uh, it's another amazingly, unseasonably hot day. You know, last night uh, I, there was both the uh, San Francisco 49ers on TV playing the Seattle Seahawks and then there was the uh, Giants playing in the uh, playoffs the San Francisco Giants against the St. Louis Cardinals but they were playing in uh, St. Louis but uh, you know the the uh, sportscasters for the football game that's one of the things they mentioned is they said man it's a gorgeous but unseasonably hot day here in San Jose California And of course, uh, that is all expected to change. And, uh, you know, within like a 24 hour period, it'll go back to being kind of cool, you know, like sub 70, you know, and kind of colder at night. But, uh, you know, the tribulation, you know, uh, continues to unfold in front of us. We have reached uh, day 533. Um, I want to welcome any new viewers, um, and of course, uh, I want to thank anybody that's been watching these videos with me, you know, for uh, continuing to be a viewer. You know, there's all sorts of stuff going on, um, you know, just the local paper, you know, that's one of the things I still do is I buy a paper, uh, the San Jose Mercury, and it's kind of a, a left-leaning paper, but uh, I was just going to show you, you know, the front page of today's Mercury here in the Bay Area. See right there? Giants on the bubble. That's the San Francisco Giants. That's Pablo the Panda sitting on the ground. He's popping a big old bubble, you know, got his legs spread. But, uh, you know, the Giants, uh, you know, their backs are against the wall. They need to win tonight, game five, or the series is over. And, uh, you know, the future I bought on the Giants is, is gone. But that's okay. If it's gone, it's gone. But uh, I think it's kind of funny because, you know, that's the, kind of the state of the world we're in right now. Giants on the bubble or a giant bubble, like the economy that's imploding in on itself. You know, today, uh, uh, you know, the stock market's down about 200 points. But, you know, there's lots of giants on the bubble. You know, it's, it's uh, insurance companies, it's bankers. You know, like, if you flip this paper over... Still on the front page. Well, here's another giant on the bubble, you know. Google. You know, yesterday Google Google Mr. Zunnies on Wall Street, you know. So Google is a giant of the uh, Internet age. And, uh, oh, oops, they miscalculated their profits. They didn't make as much money as they thought they did, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, once again, I've been saying, you know, things aren't what they appear to be. And, of course, right next to the bubble is this story right over here which is the bay area has front row seat to big fireball you know and uh, of course you know yesterday in my video i, I mentioned that i just happened to be talking to uh, one of my uh, friends on youtube uh, the vital truth talking about fireballs next thing you know i got one flying right over my very house you know and uh you know, it landed somewhere in the hills. You know, people said it was huge. You know, there's video of it on YouTube. I put in some links. But uh, I'll tell you, my friends, you know, the mainstream media or those that, uh, you know, lived a hedged-in existence or living in a bubble, you know, God bless you if you are. You know, may God's blessings just pour out and, you know, get, protect you. And, you know, if, if you can make it through everything in a bubble, that's awesome. You know, but most of us don't live in the bubble. But, uh... You know, there's been a lot of meteors, you know, because that, that's what I was talking to my sister Patty about is this meteor landed in Louisiana. And I seen the news footage where it blasted a big old hole in the earth and blasted through a train, two big freight cars on a railroad track. And now this uh, fireball over the skies of San Jose. And you know what? Just yesterday, there was another meteor sonic boom over London that everybody heard, you know. And of course, there's, you know, 
sinkholes everywhere and earthquakes and noises coming from uh, under the earth, you know, a lot of, a lot of bizarre, weird stuff, man, you know, but right there, you know, front page of the Mercury talking about it. And of course they're talking about the, the Orionoid, Orionid meteor shower, you know, which is the tail of supposedly Halley's Comet. But you know, who knows, you know, like if, if there was something big headed to, towards earth, you think the government would tell us? I don't, you know. But, uh, you know, the world as we know it does continue to spiral downwards into chaos. Uh, you know, the news isn't good. You know, there was a huge bomb blast in Beirut, Lebanon, you know, and one of their uh, leaders there was killed, and they're saying it was Assad or it was Al-Qaeda. But I tell you, my friends, you know, everything over there is just going bonkers. And, of course, you know, here in America, it's not much better with... Uh, you know, our beloved president, Barack uh, Obama, you know, first black president, Nobel Peace Prize winner. You know, God bless him. May God just fill him with, you know, the wisdom and the knowledge he needs to be a good president, you know. But he tends to have this lead from behind uh, strategy of uh, how he operates. And, you know, with the whole Middle East is just kind of unraveling, you know, because the United States isn't being a uh, leading force. And, you know, there are sinister forces at work in the Middle East, you know, on all levels, all levels. So, you know, it's not looking good. You know, Syria's a mess. Turkey is, is now fighting with Syria. The, the violence from Syria is drifting down towards Lebanon, which is headed towards Israel. Of course, Iran's there. Iraq's a big mess. You know, Afghanistan, Pakistan, you know, no matter where you're looking, it's a mess. Libya, Yemen, all those countries over there, you know. And then Africa is pretty much a big mess, too, you know. <clears throat> so, I don't know, you know, day 533, um, I think we need to hang on to our hats, I think uh, this tribulation is kicking into high gear on so many levels, it's not even uh, funny at this point, we've got some alignments going on, you know, like Venus and Mercury are in opposition to each other, and then Saturn's going to be in opposition to Earth <clears throat> on the far side of the Sun, you know, and then you look at all these earthquakes that are happening, plates that are shifting, you know, the whole over there in Australia and up in the uh, 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 the, the eastern countries, you know, uh, but where they had that big ass tsunami, all that stuff is rocking back and forth, man. There's earthquakes going off everywhere, you know, around the earth. And uh, man, we are now in the thick of it, my friends. So uh, Operation End Times, you know, if you haven't checked it out over there, I'm going to try and get a video up uh, in the near-term future. I think i got some things I might need to talk about. But uh, this is the Tribulation, 515, 2011. Um, you know, I don't know, you know. Uh, I'm just continuing on. You know, we got the election coming up on the 6th, but who cares? You know, I'm going to say it. Who cares? You know, whether Obama or Mitt Romney wins, you know, what's going down right now in this world is way, way, way beyond a presidential election. So, uh, you know, got to kind of figure out where your head's at. And my advice to everybody out there is be a rock so that you won't be rocked, you know. As the giant bubble pops around the world, you know, whether it be health care or, you know, government handouts or the value of money or, uh, you know, just cataclysmic storms, just the hand of Mother Nature and God itself, you know, because this world is experiencing changes that, uh, you know what, we're not, we don't, we're, we don't fully comprehend and, and, you know, the people that do ain't, ain't telling us either, you know, because everything's happening at a galactic and at a uh, solar level as well, you know, our whole solar system is, is rocking, you know, so what you need to be is a rock and in order to be a rock you have to have a solid foundation and that's why I keep reminding y'all, you know, get it straight in your head you know, what you value in your heart and, uh, you know, you know, it's printed right on our money, man. In God we trust and uh, make sure that's who you trust, God. Make sure you trust in God because if you're putting your trust in anything else as, as what's going to unfold, unfolds, what's coming, 
comes. You know, if you're putting your trust in man, if you're putting your trust in a 401k or some retirement fund or, you know, investments in the stock market, you know, then you've got fool's gold, you know, and you're going to be disappointed. Your world is going to be rocked. But if you have a foundation, you know, and you've set your sights a little further up the, the food chain, you know, elevated yourself, you know, because if you have, then you will acknowledge God and the kingdom of God, and and uh, that's where your treasure will be. And guess what? You'll have a foundation that as the world around you just rolls in chaos, you know, evermore, you know, because as things manifest, both sinister and good, you know, because there's going to be a lot of good manifesting. That's the good news. <clears throat> but there's a lot of sinister stuff manifesting as well. But if you have a foundation, you will weather the storm. That is the truth of it. But, you know, you can probably get a little deeper uh, over at Operation End Times. All right, stay thirsty, my friends. You know, try and do something good. Think positive. Show love. Love, love, love. You know, walk in love. You know, no matter what you're doing. Think about showing love first and foremost. All right.